is 4.02, and so we can begin. This is the April 18th, 2017 meeting of the Northampton Transportation and Parking Commission. My name is Ryan O'Donnell, the chair of the commission. I'll note the audio and video recording of these proceedings, and let's begin with introductions for the benefit of the public, starting with our DPW director. Uh, Scotty, director of DPW. Krista Burnett, citizen. Gary Hartwell, citizen. Jamie Alvaro Fisher, citizen. That goes to you. Terry, DPW. Thank you, Chair, DPW. Dave Pomerantz, Second Services. And Devin Bruce from the Planning Board. Great. Um, we begin every meeting with a period of public comments and opportunity for members of the public to speak on any issue you wish. Um, I, I, we were just talking about this before the meeting started. It's not a time where we can go have kind of back and forth, but it's a time for you to share your thoughts and ideas with us. So with that, is there any public comment you can make? Yes. Hi. Hi. Uh, my on. name is Beth Fitzgerald. Okay. Can and you give um, us your address for the record? Please? My address is 79 no. Old Wilson Road. Thank you. Um, and I live up in Florence on the, uh, I don't know if folks know, Pine Grove Golf Course. It's the road, it's a beautiful road. Um, in fact, we just got it paved not too long ago. Um, and I'm, I'm here tonight to talk about the issue of speeding on that street. Some folks use it as a cutoff between East Hampton and uh, Florence. Um, and recently I was horrified. I was in my yard one day recently, this was about, I don't know, three weeks ago, and um, this person in a truck with, I could tell it was diesel. It was a regular pickup truck. It wasn't like a, a huge, you know, box truck or something. He sped down the road, and, and, and my feeling is he accelerated when he saw a flock of turkeys crossing the road, and he crashed into them and just killed two of them right there in front of the whole neighborhood. So we were pretty horrified. I'm glad that my neighbor to the right went over and picked up the dead turkeys. There were two and um, disposed of them. And my neighbor to the left called the police. Um, this would be my neighbor to the left. <laughs> so we also, we just noticed um, at different times of the day that folks speed, the, the speed limit on the street is 25 miles an hour. It's a tiny little street. Um, people walk their kids up and down that street. The neighborhood of Ice Pond is, is a neighborhood just before our little section. They often cross Route 66 and come down and walk the street because it's a pretty road. Um, we've also noticed that just a little after 11 p.m. at night, the folks from the jail uh, speed by between 11 and 11.10. And you, you know it because you can time it. Um, so, so what I'm asking today is for some help with even more signs expressing the speed limit. There's one at the very, very beginning of the street as you enter, and there's one at the other end of the street. Um, so if you're entering uh, off of Florence Road, there's one there, but there really aren't any in between. Um, uh, you know, my neighbor called the police. I also called the police to say, look, if you want to get one of those solar things that flash how, how fast you're going, you, you're welcome to put it in my yard. There's a lot next door or across the street, rather, that's open land. I th it's privately owned, but I mean, the city owns the first five feet, right? The first five feet in? Pretty you sure you do. own some portion of it. Um, so that was my comment to ask you for help. Um, maybe a call to the jail to, to have um, the sheriff tell his folks to slow down. Um, we've asked the, the police to come in the morning to catch the speeders in the morning. And they have. We've seen more of a police presence, but that fades away. I just either want more signs, uh, maybe a call to the jail. And, um, and again, they, they, can, they can put those uh, solar machines on my yard to tell people to slow down at the speed limit is 25. The problem is that there's a straightaway on our street, and I'm sorry, I'm Susan Bowen. I live next to Bath at 67 Old Wilson Road. Thank you. Um, the, um, there's a straightaway uh, once you get past um, where the golf course is. The golf course is a little bit of a windy area, and then you come to a straightaway where most of the houses on the street are. And most of those houses are very close to the road. There's no sidewalk at all. And a lot of people walk up and down our street, a lot. Like Beth mentioned, 
Um, the fe people in Ice Pond, because they have such a small little community, but there's a lot of people there and a lot of children. They use our road a lot. Um, and you know, I, I can I can tell you exactly who goes up and down the road at certain hours. I mean, I see them, and they fly. They go double the speed limit easily. And when they come around those corners from the golf course, they hit that straightaway, and they just zoom up until the next curve happens up closer to 66. And it's I mean, I can I took down the license plate of somebody who comes up and down our road, to and from work every single time, and they're always flying. They're at 11 o'clock at night, about 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Sometimes he whizzes by right around 4. Was that the turkey killer? The turkey. Oh, did you? I told tell you story? about the turkey. We heard about the, we were sorry for your loss. Well, well and I told our loss. And then you need to come back to get the carcasses if you It was disgusting, to, and he sped up on purpose to hit them. We know that he did. He had to have. He could easily have seen them in his sight because of the straightaway. And one and thing I didn't describe to you, uh, um, because it's public comment and we didn't have an opportunity to put this on the agenda, there's only so much that we can engage in a back and forth mm -hmm. on it. So if you find yourself saying things and us not responding, don't don't take it personally. But, I don't but we do want to hear personal. everything you have to say, just so you know. So, okay. Yeah. So sure. please tell me if you have more to add. Well, I, I just I just have to say that, you know, what whatever was it, five, six, seven years ago, they repaved that road. Am I approximately right? Before that, the road was a bit rutted out, and I liked it that way. Because you can't go 55 miles an hour down a road that has frost heaves and bumps and, you know, occasional puddles. You can't. But now that it's smooth, people think, I'm just going to, because they don't live there. These people don't live there, you know? And it's, I've got to tell you, um, once or twice walking my dog, I was almost hit. And it's just, it, it's getting busier and busier on our street for pedestrian traffic. And there's no sidewalk. I mean, Grove Street has traffic coming. They have those bumps. They have a sidewalk. I mean, really? I mean, you already have a sidewalk. We don't even have a sidewalk. Not that I necessarily want a sidewalk, but I want one or the other. I want the bumps or the sidewalk. But something that allows us to feel safe when we're walking up and down that street. Right now, I don't feel safe walking up and down my street. So what do I do? I can walk up to 66, and I can walk 66, but that's not really even a pleasant street. I remember when that sidewalk went in. Not even a pleasant street to walk up and down. Yeah, it's too busy. It's too much. The traffic flies by there. I'd like to at least feel safe on my own street, I guess. And I'm not sure what are our best next steps to make that happen. Yeah, thank you. And we really appreciate you coming and sharing this with us. I heard a little bit about this from the Ward 4 counselor, your counselor, Councilor Shara who's unfortunately not here today. Um, but it's good to hear your firsthand accounts from both of you, and good for members of the commission here as well. My preference, is we can't really discuss it or take it on today, is I'd like to work with the Ward 4 counselor and you and, and the neighbors to figure out what those next steps are. So hopefully we can be in touch outside of this meeting. Um, but as I, your first step, I think, was today in providing background to this commission. So, so thank you, and I'm sorry for all the trouble. Thank you for I listening. Just, yeah. just want, I just want to feel safe being on my own street. I totally understand. And it's a small street, and we should feel like with 20 odd houses or so on the street from beginning to end, people who live there don't feel safe. They can't. And there's a lot of wildlife. Well, a yeah. A lot of wildlife. Right. I mean, obviously, we, we have our turtle. We have a, our regular things that cross our road all the time. Mm -hmm. And yeah. of course, the turkeys are, there's a lot of them. Um, turkeys, turtle, deer, bear. Mm -hmm regularly right and then there's people running I mean I, I must count in the morning at least maybe a dozen people who run or walk by the house probably mm -hmm. between the hours of 7 and 8 in the morning and I, I can tell you some of the trucks that speed by there at about 10 of 7 5 of 7 there must be a shift change or something I don't know but I just know at night. I could almost plan my coffee to that day to that mm -hmm. moment when he comes by every single morning it's ridiculous okay. and Line. So. Okay. Well, we would definitely follow up outside of this meeting, and maybe we can put it on the agenda for a future meeting if, if sure. appropriate for more. What, is it appropriate that if people are speeding, as, a, as, as citizens, maybe you can or can't comment on this, is it appropriate if people are regularly speeding to call the cops when that happens or not? Can we not do anything about that? I mean, I or would, does it not matter? I mean, personally, I would, never, I would never tell you not to contact the police if you felt you needed to. Yeah. Okay. 
I mean, it certainly, and it sounds like you have in the past, and they've been responsive and putting temporary trailers on. Or did you just say well, they, they, that? No, they, they, um, they come and they'll sit. Like, they, once oh, we see. called, right. they came a couple of times. Yeah, once or twice, and then, and then we, we don't see them again. No, but they get busy probably with other stuff that's, I know, to I them realize more pressing. It's, it's, that they're stretched in many different directions. Right. right. I think, of course, if you need to contact public safety officials, you should do that. Mm -hmm. And then separately, we'll explore what other options we might have. Yeah, I'm just looking for more signs to start off with. Yep, I hear you. Right, but, even okay. just anything that says slow down. Yeah. It is still 25 miles an hour this point on the road. Because okay. when you come up, when you turn onto the road, you're not looking at those signs. Mm -hmm. You're just negotiating the intersection. So the signs are actually poorly placed. They should be maybe 20 or 30 feet farther down the street. So when you're on the street, oh, it's 25 here. Mm. But if it's at the ends of the street, you don't see them because you're yeah, just you're thinking turning. about turning and negotiating a turn on to, from one street to another. Got it. And there are only two signs, so right. it'd be great if they could put at least two one more, more in the middle. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you. Thank you thank for your you. joint presentation. Okay. okay. <laughs> thank you. It's very informative. We will be in touch on this. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank Have you. a good night. Have a good day. Sorry, it was a couple minutes. Um, I don't believe there's any other public comment. The chair is vacant. Um, so is there a motion to approve the minutes of March 21st, 2017? Move we'll approval. Second. Second. Uh, has everyone had a chance to review them? Have been okay with them? Any comments or conditions? Any changes? Yes. From our administrative system? So on the approval minutes, I need to add in absent one. Actually, Jane was, he came in late, so he wasn't a part of that. Just for the one vote. Just for the one vote. And then the other ones I um, included Nancy on it, and it's actually 11 yeses. So I'll change to 12 to 11. Great. Thank you very much. Any other changes? Okay. So with those amendments, um, all in favor of approving the minutes? Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. Thank you very much. Um, reports from departments. Return to the DPW. Find the DPW site through the city site? Yes. The other public works. Right. Um, any um, news on the sidewalk inventory? That we're still continuing on. Uh -huh. So I'm reviewing the data that they've collected. We're kind of going back and forth. Great. Any other questions or discussion on DPW updates? Okay. Thank you again for those. Um, no other departmental updates, I don't think. Let's see, we have three matters before us. First is 5A, is there parking issues on Prospect Street between the YMCA and Meadowlark Child Care? I actually don't see anyone from Meadowlark Child Care, uh, which is the institution that asked me for this. Um, I'll just then just give you a brief overview so you may be dealing with this in the future. Basically, anyone who's familiar with the Y knows that there's a lot of parking issues there. Um, between the YMCA, who has many members, and Meadowlark Child Care, with many parents dropping off their kids there. And uh, this is a problem from the perspective of the child care. Um, they think it's, it's hard for them, their parents, to find parking spaces. So the question is, 
Is this area an appropriate place for a 15 minute parking space during certain times of day? Um, that would be kind of a policy question for us. And then beyond that, I think there are issues that have to be worked out between the Y and the child care uh, business itself, one, on, one by one. And I know that conversation is happening. But uh, I think it's a preview. It's just something we'll probably come back to this commission, um, specifically the 15 minute parking space issue. And the only other thing is actually I asked our traffic engineer this. There are lines that have been painted there for the past few years. Um, but there is a towards more towards the four-way stop. There was a curb cut that was closed. It was like a very big driveway, and now it's been closed. The little driveway. And the question was, can we squeeze two additional painted parking spaces there? And it might be an issue you're still studying. But that's also part of the mix. So. Do you know what that new building is for? That new building. I don't know. I think it's some kind of mixed-use residential, but it's partly an office also. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. So unless there's any questions from anyone else on this, that's, that's, what, the, that's what this was. <laughs> we won't talk about it anymore. Uh, all right. So this is another one which is similar. Uh, no parking destination on Art Street. You might want to wait for the chief of police on this. Um, this comes from uh, the Leeds Civic Association, who is concerned about um, noise coming from people parking on Art Street and going down um, to the Chart Pack. There's like a little waterfall behind the Chart Pack factory. Um, and apparently, the police put in a temporary, or someone put in a temporary no parking designation on part of Art Street. Um, and the question is, Maybe it's about a year later. What, are, are we going to consider making it permanent? So, I actually, don't see anyone here again today who can really speak to the details on that issue, unless anyone has any information on it. But that's what that was. Please, thank you. Um, in the ordinance, there's a line under Schedule 15 tollway zone. So, Car Street is listed there as a tollway zone. For the whole thing. Um, from Florence Street to Main Street leads no parking any time, oh. but it's not under the parking prohibited. So it's tollway, but it's not parking prohibited. It's so on it no says parking. Restriction: no parking any time. So it's in the ordinance, and there are signs up, from what I believe. Oh. Oh. So we, this problem has been solved for you. <laughs> Really quick work, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, great. Anything else on that one? Here's the third one. This is an ordinance. This is 17.288, an ordinance relative to on street parking meter zones. It's about Bedford Terrace and Strong Avenue. This was referred to by the City Council to us. This is Councillor Scherer's ordinance. She's not here. Um, I asked her just to write a very brief um, email to describe it. Um, so here is that email. Bedford Terrace and Strong Avenue have 10 hour long term parking meters. Um, this is in the code schedule eight on street parking meter zones. It lists both streets as 10 hours slash class 3D meters, which is 10 hours at 50 cents an hour. All the other class 3D streets have an additional 4A designation, which allows use of the $45 uh, long term parking permit issued by parking administration. I, me, and Councilor Shara spoke with Nancy Forrestal and confirmed that all red topped and long term meters are considered equal and are enforced the same way. And PEOs recognize the use of permits on Bedford Terrace and Strong Avenue. Nancy couldn't think of a reason as to why the 4A designation was admitted. This ordinance proposes to codify what is already the practice, the permitted use of 4A permits during the hours of operation of the 3D meters on Bedford Terrace and Strong Avenue. So I guess it's just allowing permit parking on those two streets where the red meters are. So is there a motion to approve this just to get on the floor? And if you don't want to ultimately approve, you can vote now, but we need to get on the floor. So it's a motion. So I move. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Second. Okay. Um, is everyone clear on what this would do? I mean, no. No? Okay. Do we actually have the printout of the ordinance? 
You don't have to. No. Okay. This, does no one have the ordinance? Oh, okay. Um, well, what you see is in Schedule A, which is on street parking meter zones, it has um, two rows. One is Bedford Terrace, and it currently says um, um, on the north side of State Street, from State Street to Elm Street, it's 10 hours Class 3D, and it would add Class 4A. In other words, it adds permit parking to Bedford Terrace. Um, no, I'm sorry. You okay? okay? Yeah. Okay. And then the same thing on Strong Avenue, on the east side, um, from a point 350, 355 feet from Main Street southerly to a point 261 feet southerly um, from Main Street, presumably. And that's again 10 hours, Class 3D, and it would add Class 4A. Um, may I pass this around the room? So I think when I sent this, I sent a link to it rather than the actual PDF. That could be why we don't have that printout. So I understand this, and you know, there's no urgency on this issue. If the commission wants to wait until Council Sharer is here or, or Ms. Forrestal are here, these are the two people who would know about this. But it sounds like it's just adding um, permit parking on these two streets where the red top parking meters are. So. I don't think it would change the business experience of the surrounding businesses because you've already got the 10 hour meters. Right. And I understand that the park enforcement officers are treating it like permit park, although I don't know how many permits they encounter on Strong and Bedford, but my understanding is there, if they see a parking permit, they I'll second that motion. Any discussion on the postponement? All in favor, postponing. Say aye. Aye. Opposed, abstention. Sorry, that's postponed. Um, any new business? Uh, I'll just re-announce, as, as Maggie mentioned, that um, it will be on the Tuesday, March, excuse me, Tuesday, May 16th, third Tuesday in May, at five o'clock is when our next meeting will be at and then we'll schedule the Nottatuck Street, uh, the question of Nottatuck Street traffic coming from 5-3. And uh, Councilor Murphy, Ward 5, is sending out postcards to the residents. And I've sent that an email, so hopefully we'll have many people to keep us company uh, at that meeting. Sorry, I missed the date, May 16th. 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 Thank you. So, there you go. And thank you to DPW for all of your work on the traffic comic process and, and this particular application. So this will kind of be a test case, I guess, for our evolving process. Okay. Any other new business? So motion to adjourn? Yes. 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 And a second. <laughs> second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much.